Happy New Year, everyone! Or is it going to be a Happy New Year? If we do the same stuff we did last year, maybe we're going to be seeing just as much bullshit as we did then. So what is this happy in the new year? And how can you actually make this a happy new year? For most of us, we're not going to be riding a happiness wave all year long, but there are quite a few things we can do to make sure that we're going to be riding in style and um, riding in joy as much as possible. And I'm going to give you three absolutely vital things that you need to do in order to make this year a happy one. And um, myself, I have a, um, a new uh, golden unicorn around my neck, so I am extra lucky for this year. A big thank you to my sisters who gave me this for my big birthday for last year, but it took a while to get the gift, so thank you, thank you. All right, enough about my unicorn. More about you and your happiness. You ready to hear the three things will, that will absolutely set you up for a happy new year? And of course, you're going to say yes or turn off the video. Here's number one. You need to have ways to connect with yourself. The only place where you can feel happiness is on the inside of you. And it's, I know, it's one of those like, duh, but we do a lot of crazy running around out there trying to find happiness somewhere else. But it is within you that you're going to experience it. And it's not because of something that happens on the outside necessarily. It needs to be something that's on the inside of you. And we can talk at length about how that is true, but for now, let's just, yes, happiness is an inside job. And to in order for that to happen, I need to have a connection with myself. So what you need to do is to get yourself some you development for this year. You can't separate you from the type of happiness and impact that you are going to make in this world. So if you disconnect you and thinking that you can just run around and make things happen and be of great impact in the world without having a connection to yourself and your inner genius and your inner strength and your inner calm and your inner wisdom, forget it. It's not going to happen. And it's not going to be valuable to you either because you're not going to do it from you. So what can you do this year to really be in connection with you? I prescribe meditation for basically everyone I work with. And um, meditation is one of those tricky things because we know we should do it. We can buy all the lists of, of benefits that it brings to our lives. And yet we sort of don't do it. This is why a lot of people come join my programs, professionals who just can't seem to get a habit into their lives. It's not a routine. They don't have it. I don't know why we just don't do things that are good for us, but that's one of those things. You need to find a thing. You need to find a situation where you set yourself up for having connection with you. How are you going to hear your small voice within? How are you going to even know what constitutes your joy? You can't follow your joy if you can't feel your joy. Make something happen in this new year where you have a connection with you and make that a priority. That is number one, okay? Number two is that you need to find good ways to connect with other people. Are you sensing a theme for this year and happiness? Yes, it's connection. So you first have connection with yourself and then you have connection with others. Relationships are the foundation of everything that we do. So once you have your inner business in order, once you have that you connection in constant work and order, you you use that to connect with other people so that you come from your true you, 
not your ego you. You come from an authentic you, not the suspicious and mistrusting you. You find a way to have healthy relationships. Don't disconnect business from relationships. Business is relationships. That's it. So don't discount that. I know we're doing a lot of sitting in our own little spaces and I'm at my office kind of hunkering down. I'm not seeing clients right now in person because they're all out <laughs> either in quarantine or isolating. I'm laughing. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that, but it's so absurd. We, we have to, you know, get rid of that energy somehow and laughter is good. Find a way to reach out anyway. It's important that we connect with other people. This is, this is how we feel that we're alive a lot of the time, including introverts. This, this, this human connection is such a central part of being human. So you do your work with you and then you use that healthy you to connect with other people. What can you do? Can you reach out to five people every day and just ask them how they are? You don't want anything in particular. Maybe you do in six months, but right now you're just reaching out, saying hi, supporting someone by maybe just commenting on their LinkedIn profile, whatever it is. It could be so small, but you reach out and you feel that connection with other people. Yeah, connecting with others. That's the number two thing, to find this happiness that we all kind of seek, especially when we're thinking about a new year ahead. So let's do number three. Number three for a very happy new year is to find a way for you to connect with the world, with the ideas and the innovation and the rumblings the messaging, the communication, the needs that are going on in the world. Connecting with the world as a leader is an absolute prerequisite for being relevant today. You need to find a way to have that connection. If you follow my work, you know I'm big on, on the unified field and you know I'm big on tools to actually connect through this person that we are, you know, we are on our own system that we can call our own. It's actually more like six feet to all sides if we're counting our whole biosphere, but that's a story for another day. But what we're really doing when we are connecting to the world is not that we're reading all the news. At this point, that just makes us depressed. It's actually a different kind of reaching out into this field of infinite possibilities and we learn how to collapse the right stuff into our own experience and that we can tune into the world in a way where we can actually make a difference. Ideas and innovation and the needs that, that need to be fulfilled right now in the world are so many and they're so dire and they're so important and all we need to do is to become a fine-tuned machine to hear it. So we hear the needs, but we also hear the solutions. We need to tap into that intuition of sorts, but also to our creativity, to our innovative capacities. And they're there. I know it. You got it, but you have to want it. And you actually have to do the work on all of these three levels, connecting to yourself, connecting to other people and connecting to the world. That is how you're going to have a happy new year. Maybe you don't have a unicorn, but you're still going to have a happy new year. Much love and deeply wishing you a happy and fulfilled new year.